Welcome to another video on Power BI interview questions. Hope you're watching this series from beginning. The next question which you may be asked is what are the differences between tags, functions, rank and rank X. The reason of asking this question may not be only limited. They wanted to know difference between these functions, but rank is a new function which came in only in April 2023. And one of the reason why this question may be asked that they wanted to check how are you keeping yourself updated within your functions and because of this reason what you should be doing is you should always keep yourself updated with the latest release from blog.powerbi.com every month there is a release and you should keep an eye on those releases and what new functions is coming in that will establish the fact that you are learning new things in power bi so let's look at some of the differences and then later on we'll try them on power bi desktop so rank and rank x are not like sum and sum x they are, they are little bit different rank is very similar to the windows function that uh, were released in december which is windows offset and index where we have this ordering partitioning relation all those concepts while well, rank X is an old function, this is available in Power BI for quite some time and it helps you in getting the rank for column or a major. Rank X function computes the rank of a value among all the possible values derived from the valuation of an expression across all rows of a table. It provides a rank number based on the evaluation of expression for each row in the table. The default sort order is descending. So the rank X will compute this based on the expression which has been provided on all the rows in the available in the table and the default sort order is descending. It means if you don't provide any sort order, it would be descending. Rank in contrast, the rank function returns the ranking for a current context within the specified partition sorted by the specific order. If there is no match found, the rank is returned as blank. The default sort order is ascending. So there it was descending, here it is ascending. When used in a major rank X function cannot use a column to provide rank in the order by expression while rank can. So basically what happens is, let's say I'm creating a major. Rank X can be used to create a major as well as a column. And I want to use a column rank. Let's say I want to know rank the customer sales by their dates so i say this is the first sales this is second sale this is third sale why i can do that as a column i will not be able to do that as a major and in case because it's really important that when we are displaying in the table some of the dates might not be available they get filtered out because of some reason and in that case the overall ranks should change and because we cannot create a major rank like that it may miss out the things so because of that Rank function provide us a flexibility where we will be able to use a column and we'll try to take an example when we go to the Power BI desktop. Rank is a better choice to resolve the ties and order of blanks compared to rank X. So rank, the newer function has better things available. We have an order by expression where we can add lot much variety into it to create that uniqueness. While both the function will continue to work and based on the users we can decide fit for purpose so let's jump onto the power bi now and in power bi we will try to use these functions and see what all we can achieve using these so let me add a new page here on my power bi desktop and first thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to create rank for my brand so i'll bring my item brand in the visualization and I'll also bring net from the majors. And here I let me convert this into a table visual. I'm using on object interactions. It can suggest type based on the data. So that's why it changed it to the clustered bar. I have again changed it to the table visual. Let's quickly create a major. So major you can create major by using the option on the home tab, new major, 
or when you click on a table or on a major you will get option of creation of new major in major tool as well as table tool now this new major i'll call it as rank net one and i'll use the function rank x for that rank x and what rank x required a table x table which is going to be all in case of a major this would be all selected or all depending on how i want to create it do i want to handle the filter values or not expression the expression would be your major and then value column we are going to leave then orders and the ties so let me go ahead and say all selected item brands only give the rank for the selected one and then the next one i'm going to give net and rest i'm going to leave default so default order is descending and ties is skip let me bring it into the visualization and as you can see even though i have not given any order it is by default descending now let's create one more major and this time we will create rank net 2 and i'm going to use the function rank only rank function no rank x now ties what do you want here I want dense dense and skips are the ties dense means if a value repeat twice one and one the next still is going to be two continuous rank would be there skip means if there are one and one twice the next word would be third so i would like to use dense though in the rank x if i don't default it would be skip relation again i will use all selected item brand next one i would like to use is order by and that is important here and order by is net now this is a new thing which has came those of you are using these windows kind of function that now to use any major into the order by i don't have to add it to the relation part of it so the third one is order by i'm adding order by as net and let me not give anything here and i'm leaving the blanks and partition by and match by empty the next three argument and you can see the rank is by default ascending the lowest value has the rank one and that is why here i will go to the order by and i'll give the argument as descending for this one so we got the correct rank now let's come to another case now in same manner if you need partition by let's say you have categories you can use partition by also but let's take one different example little bit complex example i'll bring in customer name and i'll bring in sales date so and now i can bring in the net major also here now in this table what i want is uh, i want this sorting to happen on reordered it again to have the customer so i'll sort on customer and then shift and sort on date now i want ranking for this so the ranking not based on the net i want a ranking based on the sales date let's try can i do it using rank x again i'm going to click on a new major and it, what i want here is basically rank x all selected so i want to rank the dates now what happened in case of rank x if you don't consider anything inside the rank x function it I automatically partition it uh, for that so even if i don't consider the customer it will but if i am able to rank the sales date it will bring the sales date as it will rank the sales date inside the customer so i'll take can take advantage of that so i can say all selected sales and sales date but what major i give i can't give net here so i say calculate max of sales sales date that's what i can use and let me call it as rank date one And let me bring it here
and it doesn't seems like giving me some value okay maybe we are doing wrong can't can't we simply give a sales date here okay let's try this out and i can't use sales date here fine so seems like this is something which is not possible in rank x so in rank x i can't give order by of sales date now so let me remove this now i'm not able to do this easily in the rank x function so let me try can i do it with the rank function I'll click on a new major and start creating a new major. And here I'm going to create a new major which is rank date two rank function size. Let's use dense. Now here in the relationship I'll do summarize all selected sales customer name comma sales date now i have everything covered inside my summarize and all i need this all selected also that's why i went ahead and given the all selected on sales so i want to create that combination now next thing which i need is order by so i'm going to do an order by on sales date which is available in my relation any column which I wanted to use should be available in relationship ascending by default it is ascending now I leave the blanks or I can give it default but I'll use partition by and I'll use partition by as customer name and this is also part of my relation so anything which I wanted to use should be part of my relation and let's see how does this one behaves let me bring it inside the visualization and as you can see, I'm getting date as 1, 2 and 3, 2022, 0, 2. After that, 2022, 10, which is October 2022, October 14, they are ranked properly. So the difference here to note that I'm able to rank based on a column. It's not a major where I'm trying to rank. And this is the additional flexibility we have. And because we have this order by clause where we can add columns, it do provide us a flexibility to break the ties easily. Now let's try to take an example for that. So let me go to my sales table and let me bring in here one of the column which is order number. And I don't want to summarize order number when I bring it to the table visual. So let me use aggregation as don't summarize. Now let me bring in quantity also here. And sum of quantity something. And as you can see that these quantity if I want to order on that lot of quantities are 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 and then 2, 2. How do I break the ties here? So let's start creating a new major. So first of all let me create rank. 2ty1 so rank what i want to do i want to use the dense rank after dense rank i would like to see all selected order number sales order number and that's not going to serve the purpose because I want to order on quantity. So I need some of quantity as a major. So I don't have major. So let me try if I can go ahead and do this. Summarize all selected sales. Sales order number. Comma a major which is underscore one. Let me call sum of sales quantity. order by the column which I've created here descending I want a descending sort I don't want any partitioning right now so let me create this rank rank quantity one let me bring it 
inside the visual so now i can see the rank is 111 and as long as this number is 3 i should get all the rank as 1 let me do one thing let me just change the order of the quantity and you can see for 1 so i have 1 2 and 3 so it is giving me rank as 3 so 1 2 and 3 is rank is going to come because i am using the dense rank so i'll get a continuous rank but what happens if i want to break this ties now in the order by i can go ahead and add order number sales order number and i can use that ascending or descending let me use it ascending ties are broken i am getting a unique number i have another context available which can break these ties so in this manner rank function provides me that facility to have those columns inside the order by easily compared to rank x function where i can break the ties easily so very useful function rank recently released so you must go ahead and try that out in this manner you can answer the question and not only you can answer such questions but you can also show that you are learning new features of power bi thank you for taking time to watch this video your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series if you have any question or topics you would like me to explore in this series please let me know in the comments below your support is truly means the world to us it's the reason we create and share these videos if you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more please consider liking sharing and commenting it helps us immensely until next time keep learning and stay connected thank you